Well, how children learn and uh, how teacher can facilitate learning of uh, a child is an important issue in education. Just I would like to narrate a small incident few years back. I remember it is about 20 years back. Uh, I entered uh, class uh, 8 and I saw a student was playing with uh, some coins. So just I asked him what he was doing with uh, the coins. And uh, he told me that uh, he was playing with uh, the coin uh, head and tail. So just uh, curiously I inquired how many heads he is getting and how many tails he is getting. And uh, then he told me, uh, yeah, he counted uh, sometimes, didn't count sometimes. So I asked him to perform this as an experiment. So he took a coin, one rupee coin, and then uh, he started playing with it. So this is a, a very fair coin I can say and on one side there is head and on another side there is tail and uh, he started tossing the coin and uh, then he noted if he, whether he gets head or he gets tail. Uh, after 100 trials he saw that the number of heads and number of uh, tails was not exactly equal but uh, both the numbers were somewhere near 50. Uh, so I told him to repeat the experiment for say 500 times and then fi find out the fraction number of heads divided by the number of total outcomes and uh, number of tails divided by the total uh, number of outcomes and then uh, he found that the both the fractions were near 0.5. Uh, then I introduced him the concept of probability and then I asked him suppose instead of uh, one coin if you start tossing say two one rupee coins and then what would happen? So he started thinking on that and then he uh, told me that uh, there is a possibility that both uh, could be head or both could be tails or one head and one tail. So it can be either this as head or this also can be head. So, the total outcomes were 4 and out of which uh, you are getting head head is uh, one um, say possible outcome or you get tail tail is another possible outcome and you are get either head and tail or you get tail and head quite similar uh, situation but that is also a probable uh, outcome. So, he again performed this experiment say 100 times, 200 times and found out how many times he get HH or TT or HT or TH. Then um, really it was a sort of uh, curiosity which uh, has now taken uh, uh, place uh, on it, uh, rather it, it has taken a natural place on its own. On his own he started working on that and instead of taking now two coins he started with three coins, four coins, five coins. And then he did the experiment, performed the experiment with the all the experimental care. So he uh, collected those coins, put it in a box and then after uh, uh, say enough mixing of all the coins, he tossed the coins and then uh, made a uh, table for outcome and uh, outcomes and then uh, wrote all the observations carefully, found out uh, the fractions, that is number of times a particular uh, uh, event is uh, occurring divided by the total number of possible outcomes and uh, he prepared a very good table of that. And then uh, I just point, pointed out uh, that uh, look at these fractions and especially the numerators of these fractions and uh, what uh, would you conclude from that. And he started thinking yes in lower classes he has studied something like uh, Pascal Strangle and uh, the numbers in Pascal triangles were quite similar to the numerators which he was getting. For example, when he was playing with uh, uh, three coins, then at that time he found that all three heads, if the, the probability was very much near to one by three and all tells the probability, sorry, uh, uh, it was uh, one upon eight and uh, then all tails it was one by eight and uh, two heads and one tail it was uh, uh, 3 by 8 and 2 tails and 1 head it was 3 by 8. So he started thinking this 1, 3, 3, 1 is a row in a Pascal triangle. So he built all uh, different rows by taking 4 coins, 5 coins, 6 coins and ultimately 
uh, with a little help from uh, the other students and the senior students, he came up uh, with the formula of a plus b bracket raised to n, which is known as binomial theorem. So it was an experimental discovery uh, for a class A child of binomial theorem. Uh, it may be a rediscovery, but for him it was a real discovery. And he learned on his own uh, how this a plus b bracket raised to n really works. So that is how children learn. Teacher has to play a role of uh, just facilitator. That's all. Thank you.